What is up YouTube and welcome to this comic review. So we have had really, it's been a really, really stacked week for comics this week. There has been really a hell of a lot of stuff and I thought last week was stacked. But I put up on the community section of my channel a question, do you want a Batman Lost review as well as my usual Flash and Legends of Tomorrow's videos? But you have commented and you have voted with a resounding yes, with 84% of you saying, well, yes, we, we actually want this, this review as well. And it just so happens I haven't enough time. So please don't forget to check out that community section of the, the channel. And it actually comes up, I believe, on mobile subscription feeds as well. So do keep up to date on there. But if you're new to the channel, a like on this video is very, very appreciated if you enjoy the video. And please do slap a like on it if you did enjoy Batman Lost and New Flash. Because, well, these were insane. So that, that's just, let's digest the very, very meaty part of this video, which is, of course, Batman Lost. Now, Batman Lost, if, if you really haven't read the previous kind of Batman through time weird madness from Grant Morrison, which is the return of Bruce Wayne, well, you're going to be very lost to Batman here, to be honest. Because if you don't know, Batman Lost actually, or kind of, sorry, Batman Return of Bruce Wayne happened at the end of Final Crisis. And Batman was sent throughout time by Darkseid's Omega Beams. He then was, well, he was sent through time, was kept popping up in different time periods as the Justice League tried to locate him and everything like that. So it's quite crazy that they're kind of returning here to this Grant Morrison time, which is where the Wild Hunt Dark Knight's Metal is being written by Grant Morrison. So they're setting it up quite expertly here. And we saw Batman go throughout time and he encountered different members of his family and different members of the kind of the cult of the bat, and he met different members of that. It's fantastic. You need to go and read it if you haven't actually read it. Highly recommend going and checking out that book. But this is sort of in the same vein. So instead of going through different time periods, like the Witch Trials of Salem, here in Batman Lost, we actually get to see different periods of history of the Batman. So we go through and we see different stories of him being the bat. And of course, it is through the eyes of Barbatos. And Barbatos is the villain of Dark Knight's Metal, the person who has seemingly forged this whole thing and kind of manipulated Bruce Wayne into doing what this evil demon actually wants. And that is, well, you know, being totally evil and stuff. And this cult has kind of been trying to bring him back. So we see an iconic storyline here where the ancestors of Bruce Wayne are actually trying to summon Barbatos and that is a very iconic story there and we see many many other times throughout and it seems like the the Barbatos is a conduit through Batman and they've been trying to raise him raise this Barbatos character but somehow he has actually been raised and kind of unleashed somewhat on the dark multiverse and now he's heading straight here in or he already is in our universe so it's quite crazy that we've got that but this story is expert and it's being told by a bruce wayne an old bruce wayne with his granddaughter janet and it is similarly following in the vein that batman well he is lost and he seems to be talking to barbatos here and all these stories are twisted so there's quite a lot of changes to these stories like i mentioned with the storyline with the ancestors the kind of the ritual uh, sacrifice well it's actually we see more of it we see more of his ancestor and the person being sacrificed seemingly is catwoman and we see a lot of these stories kind of changed a fair fair bit here and it's it's just absolutely insane it seems like Barbatos has actually been manipulating poor old Bruce Wayne throughout history. We see the point where 
Bruce Wayne was actually in the ne- Neanderthal period. I think the Paleolithic or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm no expert on that kind of history. But we see someone leading him through and explaining to him what is going on. And I want to know who that person actually is. Because it looks like we're going to see a lot more. And it seems like this is very kind of essential reading to me to Dark Knight's Metal. It seems like this is giving more of an insight into what Barbatos actually is and where Batman actually goes because we haven't got a Dark Knight's Metal issue this month. We've got one next month. So this is filling the, the void here, I believe, for this. So it's quite a big thing here that we get in this and it's going to look, it's going to be exciting to see where this all goes. But the issue, I, I would highly recommend, if you're reading Dark Knight's Metal, I would highly recommend p- picking this up. Personally, a few kind of reviews I've seen have said that it's not essential. Really, I think it is. I think this is really, really important because it gives you an insight into the level that this Barbatos character has been involved with Bruce Wayne throughout his entire life. So do pick it up, I would say. Pick it up on Comixology or maybe wait for a trade paperback. This should be included, I think, in the trade paperback of everything to do with Dark Knight's Metal. But Dark Knight's Metal is continuing to be an absolute mind melt. I would put it up there with Final Crisis, but in the way that it is up there with Final Crisis, in the way that it's not easily accessible. So Secret Empire by Marvel, that was easily accessible. Civil War 2 was easily accessible. Here, you're going to read this, and you're going to not know what the hell is going on, because so much is, you know, we've got the plastic man egg, you're like, what the hell's going on with that, and, and things like that. So this issue is really, really good. I would highly recommend going and read The Return of Bruce Wayne before reading this, just so you get to enjoy it as I have enjoyed it, where I have read that comic book. But next up, we've got The Flash. And then The New Flash, wow. I, was, I, I wasn't I was aware that we were getting Mina Dewan back so early. I completely forgot about this. And we see, obviously, Mina is back. I forgot she was back at the end of the last issue. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be good. And if you've forgotten who Mina is, she was the one who actually helped... Barry set up the Speed Force training facility over in Star Labs. And then what happened was she was killed and he expected she was dead. However, we did see her when Iris West was investigating the black hole. When she was investigating that group, she saw Mina Dewan and she is an agent of black hole. She wanted to continue on her Speed Force kind of investigations and... Well, she's now on the bad side, and she has got the negative speed force. So we're going to see the Flash versus the negative Flash, which I guess that's reverse Flash. Yeah, I don't know. But it's really, really cool. This was really good story, and it kind of preys on Barry's sensibilities, his kind of wanting to do the right thing, his emotions. And she knows exactly how he ticks. She knows exactly what he is and how to manipulate him, which she has done here. I would have liked... Maybe a bit longer, um, kind of dealing with him, but we know that she is a bad girl, or in the in the kind of the, on the bad team. So I guess it wouldn't have really worked if she betrayed him later on. Which that would be a better story, to be honest. I think that would have been more of an interesting story. But I do like what we've got here, where Barry has been used. We had an optimism story of him racing, but we knew deep down that she was bad. And well, if she's got the negative speed force, I'm not sure if Barry doesn't have the speed force anymore. So does he actually have his powers? But this was a fantastic issue, and I highly, highly recommend this being picked up. To be honest, real, real fun here. A lot of, a lot of fun, and there's quite a lot for me to read. There's new Mister Miracle. There's new absolutely everything. But this issue, I just have to read. I have to read the new Flash every time it comes out. That's not the first one. I read Batman Lost first, and then I read this because you know Batman Lost. I was really excited. So this was a really, really fun issue, and the Flash has been very. Very strong every issue since DC Rebirth, especially introducing an epic character like Godspeed. So, yeah, really, really good issue here. Looking forward to see where this actually goes with Mina, and hopefully we'll see more of the Black Hole organization. But that is it for this video. Please do drop a like, please do subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.